I, I was on a study years ago where we were doing um, uh, brain scans on abstinent meth addicts. They were abstinent because they were court ordered into programs. They were tested frequently and if they relapsed they'd go to jail. So they were motivated to be abstinent. So we were doing scans, you know, some months out. And part of my job for this study was to do diagnostic uh, psychiatric interviews. So I'd spend some time with these people and, and invariably I would be really struck by how old they look compared to the chronological age I had been given. So it really ravages these people. They really do seem to sustain serious uh, uh, you know, central nervous system burnout even for months, perhaps even years after they stop their heavy use. And uh, we've got no treatment. Uh, first of all, we have no treatment for meth addiction and we have no treatment to help the, uh, the burnt out meth addicted brain to recover and I think it's, it may be worth opening up a dialogue as to the relative merits uh, and possibilities that psychedelic treatment could be a, uh, a worthwhile uh, uh, area of uh, or worthwhile treatment model to pursue.